I always feel like when you have something like this in clement weather, it just gives you a different story to tell. And in some cases, right. it's it's better, right? She right. was smiling. Yeah. Everyone had fun. That's the key. Everyone right. had the guitar Absolutely. through the rain and everything. I'm just so impressed with her. By the way, she's at the Meadowlands next, you guys, this upcoming weekend. So yeah. fingers crossed it'll be a okay that that I know. That'll blow doesn't move up the coast. I know. Uh, guys, I don't think any one of us would argue, and if she wanted us to be live at one of her shows, you know, talking about <laughs> yeah. the weather. We can help be, her out. We'd be happy yeah. to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe she needs us on tour to just, you know, forecast so she can, you know. <laughs> Concert meteorologist. There we go. I've been I like where you're going with that, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have a good one. Happy Monday. Uh, we'll keep it going. Yeah, happy Monday. Yes, indeed. We are here on America's Morning Headquarters. Going to get you to the mid-morning hours. Of course, walk you through this early week, plan out this week, and of course, the uh, weekend, which is ahead, which Jen, it's the Memorial Day holiday weekend. I don't know what happened to this month, <laughs> this year. We have said that every season. month this year. It's, I don't know what's going on. It's, Time is moving very fast. I, you, you, you realize this as you get older and older, and they always yeah. used to tell yeah. us this, right? You get older, the time just gets... Yeah, it moves faster. That's yeah. exactly what's happening. Cantori's like, he was standing by the camera. He's like, yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> um, did you see this? This is a giant swirl of smoke and clouds. Which is wild, and, yeah. right? Just come diving yeah. down out of Canada. Uh, we've been watching again all of the uh, issues with the wildfires still continuing in there. And you can see that swirl mixed in with all the smoke diving on in. And of course, this has led to some problems here. This is not fun in games, right? I mean, a lot of air yeah. quality issues. Air quality issues with some tough breathing in Montana. We're still watching the Dakotas. But you can see the smoke in the sky all the way to the northeast, including Pennsylvania, all the way to the south, including Tennessee yeah. and Texas. We're going we're to talk about how it's impacting us coming up. And how about a swirl of a different kind, making some waves in the tropics? Tropics. Yes, hurricane season, at least the Atlantic hurricane season, more than a week away, but we do have an area to watch. Right now, though, 10% chance of developing. So the chances are slim, but you got to watch these things. I know it's it's early, but if you're not early, you're late kind of deal with the tropics, I feel <laughs> right. like, because it's always early these days. Mm -hmm. Now, we'll get to that. We also want to dive into swimming, actually, um, some waves of a different kind out here. We're going to talk about the adult swim. How many of you know how to swim or not? We're going to give you some safety tips coming up this morning. It's all about being safe in that water, right? Well, Mother Nature is tossing your early week plans right now. Yeah, you the know, deep. I never officially learned how to swim. Can you swim? I can, I can manage. Can you float? I can float, yes. Yeah. I can manage. But if you said, let's have a race out there, yeah. it's probably not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I honestly, I think it's a life-saving skill. It is. It's one of those things where I'm like, how did I never learn? Yeah. I need to do it. Yeah. Is All it right. too late? No, no. It's, no, and you'll, actually, you'll learn on the show today <laughs> that it's definitely not too late. All right. We'll keep it going right here. See you in a bit. Storms originate going back to 1950. All right, always stressful getting into the holiday weekend. I know when there's something that could develop in the tropics. So we'll keep you apprised of what's going on. Take a look at some analysis of what's going on there right at this moment. But we also got to keep an eye on thunderstorms elsewhere. It's going to be a kind of wet week across the east. It really is. It's one of those weeks to just have the rain gear handy because you'll need it at almost any time. It's not that hot. It's, you know, it'll mm -hmm. you know be summertime warm and humid. Right. But, well, early summer. Yes, not midnight July. Not July, June. right, August. yes, yes. Yeah. All right, but let's get into it all here with the storms out there right now. We actually have had a uh, start to your day with some thunderstorms already in South Georgia. A look at the radar. We could see more throughout the day. Southern Alabama, Southern Georgia, the Florida Panhandle, all the way down here through the parts of the peninsula. Not everywhere, but we've got some storm chances ramping up. Maybe around Lakeland, Orlando, you're in that zone. We'll keep an eye down. And it's never too late to learn. The American Red Cross is dedicated to teaching adults how to swim and stay safe in the water. Knowing this valuable tool can not only help save your life, but others as well. And joining us now, Dr. William Ramos with the American Red Cross. Thank you so much for joining us. This was a great conversation. Mm -hmm. I'm energized for a lot of people to learn how to swim. Including myself. I know, Alex. I think I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to do it. All right, don't forget our question of the day. I'm we want to know. Early, right? You get out there, you beat having mm -hmm. to do with the storms, yep. and it's not so baking hot. Yes. And most of the time you beat the crowds because a lot of people sleep in. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and nothing wrong with that if you're on vacation, you want to do that, <laughs> but it is nice early on the beach. We do want to look at, though, some of the issues that could pop up, maybe with rip currents. We've got some spots with at least a moderate risk there on the east coast of Florida and in spots in the southeast. Yeah, absolutely. So, so watch those areas closely here as we head through the day. Certainly watch uh, the lifeguard advice. Watch the, any uh, flags that are flying out there on the beaches. Uh, certainly be mindful of that. Water temperatures out there, we've certainly steadily seen them climbing mm, yeah. over the last several weeks. We got in mid 80s already. Look at some of the beaches here. I don't think a lot of people swim up there in the Big Bend area of Florida, but we're already 
in the mid 80s. Yeah, <laughs> and certainly warm there as you work your way uh, southbound there on the west coast as well. All right, let's take a look at the uh, forecast here for you. And we'll start you off in Pensacola, mid 80s for the day, but that's a spot where we could see some thunderstorms yeah. fire up. Yeah, so lightning is going to be the big risk here. Panama City Beach here, if you hear thunder, you're going to have to pack it in. We've got temps in the low 80s, and you know we'll be watching for that chance of storms ramping up through the afternoon. Yeah, absolutely, and then moving our way into the inland areas where the threat for some th severe weather is in play for the day from the pain handle through the peninsula watch this afternoon big storms that could fire up damaging wind gusts maybe use some hail can't rule that out either all right so our question of the day is this yeah. Good stuff yeah. all right st george yeah put it on the list put it on the list <laughs> not, not too many people though we want to keep it nice and quiet <laughs> Well, you're not helping that yeah. one do this. Uh, all right, well, we're going to work our way westbound and say hello to the town of Vernal. Like a weird spot in to have it in Fort Myers. You I know, mean, the air is pretty humid. You think of air to be a little drier. A little drier, right. Yeah. I guess it can happen. It can happen, obviously. <laughs> Clearly. We saw it. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for choosing America's Morning Headquarters to get you through the mid-morning hours. That's right. The Weather Channel is going to help you plan out the uh, day, the week, uh, looking towards that Memorial Holiday weekend, which is this weekend, which is just crazy to think about, right? We're already at the official, unofficial start to summer. April just began. <laughs> right in, our in minds, my right? mind, yes. <laughs> All right, so we'll wild. get you through this week though here because I know a lot of you have plans. We're also been watching some uh, really interesting situations here in the atmosphere coming out of Canada. Mm -hmm. This is, I, I shared it on social media and I just said, yuck. Right. This is a swirl of smoke. That's, that's it. And those fires that continue to burn there in Canada, of course, the fires produce the smoke and they have been really causing problems over the last week or two. But look at that diving down into the states, that big swirl just taking over here. Uh, it has really been a, an issue. Air quality all, all, all over the place in the hazy skies. Yeah, the hazy skies you can see all the way to Pennsylvania, to Maine. We've seen it all the way down into Texas and Tennessee. That haze, some of it is wildfire smoke from Canada. Wow. Well, how about another swirl of a different kind that is making some waves in the tropics? Hurricane season in the Atlantic, more than a week away, but there is an area that we are watching uh, right now. They're just east of the Bahamas. National Hurricane Center giving it about a 10% chance of developing. We'll detail why that's the case and the prospects here down the road. Yeah, and the name, if it does get that mm. far. Also, we know the waters in the tropics are very inviting, right? I mean, look at this. Beautiful, but we're going to dive into some safety tips, tips for swimming, in particular, the adult swim. Yeah, yes. Coming up, looking at you, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Jen's going to get me to learn how to swim. I'm, I, that is a, a, a goal of mine here. Maybe not this year. Oh, no, we're going we're gonna to ramp it up. <laughs> we're going to ramp it up. Uh, stay tuned for that. In the meantime, Mother Nature tossing your early week plans right